Hi YouTube. For my first Mac OS X tip, I'm going to show you how to make your screen negative. This won't show up in the video because this actually um, deals with your, your monitor as opposed to software, meaning that um, that's, that's pretty much why it's not going to show up in the video here. But I'll tell you how to do it. All you got to do is hold down the control key, the option key, the command key, and press the number 8 and then that'll make your screen negative and then to simply get it back to normal just do the exact same thing press control alt command and the number eight for my second tip I'm going to show you how to slow down the minimization animation um, for windows to go into the dock most people know how to do this but for those who don't you'll learn how to do it now okay so we just have a basic window open and when you when you want to minimize it you usually either double click the window or you press the minimize button like that and I have the genie effect on so it does that little genie effect going in, down into the dock if you want to you can slow down this whole animation and see it step by step all you gotta do is hold down the shift key while you minimize it so I'll hold down shift and click the minimize button and it slows down the entire thing right and if you do it again you can actually see see it go into the dock you can see it fill up it's pretty neat so that's my second tip next thing I'm going to show you how to do is have widgets on your desktop and I'll slide mine over from my second display to show you what I mean right here I have my iCal widget and my to-do list widget and I basically just got them from my dashboard um, and it's pretty neat because this allows you to keep these widgets on your desktop at all times even at startup and it doesn't you don't need to activate dashboard to go into it um, mainly that's because dashboards a constantly running program but we won't get into that so here's how you do it you can't activate this feature by just using Mac OS X as it comes, um, as is. What you need to do is you need to download a program called Onyx. Onyx is a system maintenance program that allows you to repair, uh, repair permissions, um, basically just do some system maintenance on your computer. And it also allows you to do some little visual things. So when you download Onyx, you install it, and then you gotta open it up. Now when you open up Onyx, it's going to have to shut down all your applications that are running and it's going to have to verify your startup disk. And it does this every time you open Onyx. That's because it's a system maintenance tool. So I already have Onyx open so we don't so you guys don't have to watch um, the system go through all the verification process. So after it verifies, it'll ask you to type in your password, and then it'll show. It'll always bring up this HTML that just lets you know that if Onyx if Onyx crashes, if your computer tends to freeze, you don't need to worry because Onyx can't um, can't ruin your your system. It's just a maintenance program. So after you have Onyx open, simply go into Parameters. and then click on the expose and dashboard tab at the bottom here make sure that both of these checkboxes are enabled enable dashboard and its widgets and enable the developer mode of dashboard the developer mode is really what lets you put widgets on your desktop so after you have those both checked you can simply just go into dashboard I'm using the key on my keyboard that's designated for dashboard um, so go into dashboard and find a program, find a widget that you want, that, that you want to put on your desktop. We'll put the weather widget on my desktop. So simply gain control of the widget just by clicking on it, you know, and hold down the mouse button so you can like drag around and whatever. But just hold down the mouse button and then exit dashboard by pressing the same button. Now your widget is on your desktop. And it'll be like this whenever you open, whenever you log into your computer anything like that and if you want to get rid of the widget uh, do the exact same thing just hold down your mouse button click on the widget click the dashboard button and then it puts it back into your dashboard 
So that's how you do that. I use that feature every day because I constantly have my iCal widgets to remind me of things I need to do. Okay, for my next tip, this is something I wanted to put in the video because I constantly see people asking the creative one how to do this um, on his Ustream. And everyone wants to know how to have your Mac announce the time to you. This is really simple. This is actually a feature that's built into the operating system. All you need to do is go into System Preferences. Uh, let me bring the window over. Go into Date and Time under the System category. Make sure your tab is on the clock. And then check this box down here for Announce the Time. And you can change how often you want it to announce. You can do it um, every hour, every 30 minutes, or every 15 minutes. And you can also customize the voice that you want to use to, allow, um, to announce the time to you. And there's three male and three female voices. I believe David uses, I believe the creative one uses Alex as his system voice. I think that's right. And then that's all you need to do for that. I'm going to uncheck it because I don't use this feature. Okay, so that's my fourth tip. Next thing, next thing I'm going to show you is a pretty commonly known little trick in Mac OS X. Um, but for those of you that don't know it, you'll learn about it now. Say you're on a web page and you can't read the text because you're sitting far away from the screen. You could either increase the text by um, holding down Command Shift and hitting the plus button, which does this. Or you could hold down the control key and scroll up on your mouse wheel. And all that's doing is increasing the pixels on the screen so that you can see everything better. Now it does decrease the quality. Um, you'll notice, like, you know, here you can see actually see pixels and everything. But in order to see something, uh, read something, it does the job. So those are my five tips for Mac OS X. If you guys have any questions or you have any comments, feel free to leave me a message or put put a comment on this video page. And feel free to leave suggestions for what else you guys would like me to make videos of. All right. Thanks for watching.